welcome to a special unboxing video for the Nintendo Switch OLED Splatoon 3 Special Edition. I'm planning on expanding on the Endgame Arcade by adding on a Barcade, and the plan was to add a Nintendo Switch OLED. Once I saw the Splatoon 3 Edition, I just had to have it. I love Splatoon 1 and 2, so I'm hoping that Splatoon 3 is going to be awesome as well. The Switch OLED Splatoon 3 Special Edition was a little tricky for me to obtain. I tried to pick this up on BestBuy.com, but unfortunately it sold out while it was in my cart. Went to Walmart, wasn't there either. Finally found a copy in the back of Target. So here we are. Let's see how this thing is. Looks really sharp on the box. I can't wait to dive in. Okay, I have my Splatoon Amiibos to set the stage. Here's the colorful box art. Looks awesome. Love the detail, love the color, it's vibrant. Here's the side box art. On this side, it shows everything that's included inside of the box. I'll be going over all of these with more detail later. The back of the box looks really sharp. Nice close-ups of the Splatoon-themed skins for the Joy-Cons and the dock. This is the other side of the box that features OLED information, such as a 7-inch OLED screen, 64-gigabyte memory system, adjustable stand, and more. Now to open up the box and see what's inside. There's some more instructions on the side of the box how to plug it in and set it up in case you're unfamiliar. All right, now to see what's included. There's some fold-out instructions, the seven inch OLED screen, the left Joy-Con, the right Joy-Con, the left Joy-Con wrist strap, the right Joy-Con wrist strap, the Joy-Con grip, the HDMI cable, the AC adapter, and the dock. Unfortunately, no game is included. And here we see a close-up of the items, like the manual, the HDMI cable. The AC adapter is the Nintendo branded. Same with the Joy-Con grip. It's also the Nintendo branded. The Joy-Cons, of course, are Splatoon 3 themed, as are the wristband straps. And of course, the dock is also Splatoon 3 themed. Here we have a close-up of the Joy-Cons with the wrist straps attached to them. And here's the back side of them. Love the little detail of the different back. Here we get a great view of the Joy-Cons on the OLED screen. Looks really sharp. The back looks awesome with the pattern. The kickstand is new, love it. Here we have the Joy-Cons attached to the Joy-Con grip. Looks really nice. And finally, we have the Joy-Cons attached to the OLED, placed in the dock, all Splatoon 3 themed. Awesome. I took the time to get this all set up and running, downloaded the Splatfest World Premiere demo. It debuted today. Might as well give it a shot. These are new characters for Splatoon 3, Shiver, Fry, and Big Man. The World Premiere Splatfest is actually a three-way. It's paper, rock, or scissors. I decided to go with scissors. Here we go. Here we are in the new hub world for Splatoon 3, it's called Splatsville, and this is where you can talk to people, do drawings, check out clothing shops, or you can do your matchmaking. Eventually they'll add single player and probably DLC to this area as well. I'm going to edit out some of the load times and the matchmaking because it takes a little while. It's not too bad, but I figured for the sake of the video, let's just keep it moving. So it's four on four, I teamed up with three random scissors players to take on a team of four rock players. How I have this set up with the camera and everything, it's a little tricky to play, but I'll do my best. I just want to show everyone a little taste of what this looks like on the Switch OLED. The objective of Turf War in Splatoon is to cover the most area with ink, not necessarily get kills, which in this game they call splats, but those do help as well. When you get splatted like I just did there, you do respawn, there's a little cooldown meter, but then you're back in the action. I just got a splat and I filled up my special move. I'm gonna have to try this out and see what this is. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Need to keep inking over here, make this all pink.
Oh no, he's got the high ground on me. Oh, nice one. A really innovative feature in this is becoming the squid and going in your own ink to get there faster. Really cool and really sets this game apart from a lot of the other shooters out there. All right, I got my special. Let's get someone with this. Oh no, I got hung up on there, okay. Well, at least it still did some ink coverage there, so it's not too bad. Oh, we got a nice little run going here. All right, I think we could take this match. We're doing pretty well here. Let's keep it up, guys. Oh no, he's got the high ground on me again. Dang it. The final minute of the match is when your team really needs to make the push. That's when wins and losses are really decided. Oh, I'm getting some really good ink coverage here. Let's keep this up. All right, special, let's use this. Nice, all right, let's keep covering this, nice. Oh yeah, they don't even see me back here. Oh, there's someone, okay, got me. All right guys, 15 seconds, let's do this. Let's win this. Final 10 seconds, can I get a little more coverage or maybe a splat before we finish this? Let's go, come on, four, three, two, one. Oh, splat him right at the end, nice. But was it enough to pull through the victory for Team Scissors? Ooh, it's gonna be close, but I think we got it. Nice, 43.4% to 41.4%. Nice, really hard fought victory there, Team Scissors. Way to go. I love the victory poses here, cool. Well, there you go. There's our stats and our rewards and everything. Nothing really counts, I don't think, in this since it's the demo, but in the real Splatfest, all your progress will carry over, you'll level up your gear, and it'll be awesome. Awesome, I ended up being top scorer out of both teams. Way to go, Team Scissors. We got one win for Team Scissors, one loss for Team Rock. Well, there you have it. That's my unboxing video for the Nintendo Switch OLED Splatoon 3 Special Edition. What did you think? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I just started my YouTube channel, but I'm hoping to make additional content not only for consoles, but also on my custom arcade. If that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get my next video. Until next time, we're in the end game now.